First tonight, a U.S. Marine Corps veteran is ordered to spend at least two decades behind bars for a deadly stabbing at a downtown convenience store. And even though the defendant pleaded guilty to murder, his family still insists he acted in self-defense. Iowa News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now live from Providence with new details on today's emotional sentencing. We're live outside Providence Superior Court. Earlier today, we were inside the courtroom when the judge said it was a very difficult decision for her to make when determining the fate of Araya Brinkley. Closure for the family of 41-year-old Troy Henderson nearly three years after he was murdered. I don't know how many nights I've asked for my dad to visit me in my dreams. <laughs> so I can hear his voice. Henderson's daughter and sister describing how 54-year-old Araya Brinkley's actions on May 23rd, 2015 changed their lives forever. The loss of our brother is challenging to us, to each of us in our own ways. Brinkley pleaded guilty to second-degree murder for stabbing Henderson 15 times outside a convenience store in Kennedy Plaza in Providence and then allegedly taking off on his bike. Henderson later died at Rhode Island Hospital. The whole incident caught on surveillance camera. Judge Nettie Vogel saying this sentencing was difficult because Brinkley had no criminal history, was honorably discharged from the Marines and had a promising career. He's a person who made a mistake made a bad decision that any one of us could have been involved in. The state asked for a life sentence. I pray for, 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 for his family and I also pray for mine because I've also taken myself from my family. I've taken myself from my son. Judge Vogel sentenced Brinkley to 50 years with 23 to serve in prison and credit for the nearly three years already spent behind bars. At the time, this was the fifth homicide of 2015 in the city. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.